Hey guys, this is Steve from Trim That Weed, and welcome to our video comparing the Generac to the Kohler home generator. Watch until the end to know our verdict on which home generator is better. Both Generac and Kohler offer a wide range of home generators. So to achieve comparable results, we chose generators with similar features that compete for the same market. So for this comparison, we picked the Generac 7043 and the Kohler 20 RCAL home generators of around 20 kilowatts. So the main difference between the Generac and Kohler home generator is the wattage. The Generac 7043 has a starting wattage of 22,000 watts, whereas the Kohler 20 RCAL has a starting wattage of 20,000 watts. The starting wattage is the amount of power provided by a generator to start up electrical appliances. From this comparison, the Generac 7043 is the better unit because it starts up appliances that have a higher wattage compared to the Kohler 20R Cal. Consumption rate. Generac is a manufacturer and supplier of gas power generators globally. The company delivers industry-leading standby and power solutions built for performance and endurance. The 22 kilowatt home standby generator uses both liquefied petroleum gas, LP, and natural gas, NG. Kohler 20R Cal is similarly a multi-fuel gas power generator from a company with many years of experience in making generators. At 50% load, the 20R Cal engine will consume 82 cubic feet of liquefied petroleum gas per hour and 161 cubic feet of natural gas. By comparison, the 7043 engine consumes more liquefied petroleum gas, 92 cubic feet per hour, at 50% load, or 228 cubic feet of natural gas per hour. This makes the Kohler 20R Cal the better machine to operate in terms of fuel economy. Price per kilowatt hour. The Kohler 20R Cal with the wattage of 20,000 watts has a manufacturer's recommended sale price that's higher than that of the Generac 7043. Compared to the Generac 7043, which has 22,000 watts at a lower price, the Kohler is pricier making the Generac 7043 a better buy based purely on cost per kilowatt hour. However, you need to consider the cost of installation and the long-term cost of fuel based on the consumption rate of each generator. Noise level. Despite operating at a high 3600 RPM, the Kohler is impressively quiet, producing just 64 decibels of noise during weekly testing and up to 69 decibels during operation which is comparable to the noise produced by a washing machine. The Generac, which runs at 1800 RPM, is even less noisy, with a maximum of 67 decibels, which is in the same noise range as normal conversations. Although the two generators are impressively quiet for generators of their size and capacity, the Generac wins for low noise level, making it the more neighborhood-friendly generator. Comparison Table from the table above, you can see that the Kohler is the bigger and heavier generator. It's also clear that the two generators share several features. Similarities. These two share a lot of similar or similarly functioning features, including being in the same initial price range. Both the Generac 7043 and the Kohler 20R Cal generators are home standby generators that can provide reliable power to a 2,500 square foot house without any challenges. Both are tough, durable, and can withstand all weather conditions. They can also be used by small businesses. And although they use different technologies, they're equally able to provide remote monitoring. These generators are less noisy compared to earlier generations, making them suitable for you in neighborhoods where homesteads lie close to each other. The two generators are almost the same size, with the Kohler weighing about 85 pounds more. You'll need heavy machinery to transport and install either one of them. Verdict. So, which is better? The Kohler generator is a better buy. What wins it for Kohler is its lower consumption rate, which means it will cost less to run in a long term. Although Generac has a higher starting wattage of 22 kilowatts, few household appliances will need such a rating, and Kohler's 20 kilowatts will do just fine for the vast majority. Your buying decision should also be informed by the availability of authorized support that can come out of your location when you need to install, commission and carry out maintenance and repairs. This could make the difference between owning a less expensive to run but broken generator and one that runs expensively but can be operational, useful in a short time. 
Hey, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know which other comparisons you would like to see next from us.